finally, among the trash, my powerhouse racing radiator fan shroud kit showed up another day late. Here it is on Saturday. It was supposed to be delivered last week, um, but it's finally here. So I'm gonna get this thing open, get the new fans on it, and get it in the car so I can drive the Supra again. Uh, but fun factor, I, well, fun factor. Fun fact, I fixed my AC. I put a, um, I can't, you can't see it down there. An ambient uh, air temperature sensor up in the front and all my AC stays on and it blows cold. I was only able to idle it for about, I don't know, a couple minutes yesterday because I didn't have the radiator fans and we're not going anywhere, we're sitting still. But the AC blasted like it was brand new. So I'm excited about that because I just put a new compressor and uh, new everything for the AC and it wasn't working still. So that finally fixed it. I'm gonna test it out a little bit more today after I get the radiator fans on. So on to that. Alright, so I got two different fans here. This one's got a shorter pigtail. This one has a longer one. I'm gonna assume that the wider brackets are on the top. So I'm gonna put the longer pigtail on the right side. So, because the wiring is on the left side for the radiator. So I'll put this short tail on the left side. Uh, I just wanted to point that out before I mounted them up. And uh, had to dismount them and put it back together. Okay. On the IS300 fan tra uh, fans, there's a seven blade fan and a five blade fan. I've tried the five blade fan on the top and the bottom here, and they both, it scrubs the uh, inside of the shroud. So I think I'm going to trim down the edges just a little bit so it doesn't scrub, and then pop it back on. It shouldn't affect efficiency that much, uh, if at all, so it should be okay. But I need to trim it down just a little bit. So I have to pull all that off because uh, I don't want to disconnect that. And I got the little air intake uh, heat blocker, I don't know what to call it, heat box off here so I could hopefully slide the radiator shroud right down in here. I'm going to clean this up a little bit while it's off and try to hide these HID kits a little bit better. Uh, I got an aftermarket HID kit on here. Probably need to get rid of it. It's a piece of crap. But for now, I'm trying to get the car track ready and I'm not worried about the HID system. All right, so as I figured, I'm running into issues with the cold side of the intercooler pipe, the way it juts out here. Um, Powerhouse Racing did mention that it's not guaranteed to fit with aftermarket intercooler piping because it does come so close to the throttle body. Um, I'm gonna pop that off, get the, ra the radiator fans in there, and then try to somehow finagle it in there to make it work. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to, um, my welder, actually make me a titanium side, um, cold side pipe, to fit with the shroud in here. Um, but for the time being, I'm gonna have to try to rig something up for me to be able to drive the car over to a shop. So I'm trying to get these fans in at least. Uh, that's the most important part. And then we'll worry about the intercooler piping. All right, so I don't even know where the last time I left off because it's been an ongoing project. Um, I was having an issue with my radiator fans hitting the battery, hitting the intercooler pipe. So I relocated the battery to the trunk it fits nicely in the OEM subwoofer spot, my 11 pound battery from the FRS. Here is the relocation kit. Um, I recently ordered a circuit breaker instead of this fuse box. This fuses with a blow, you're kind of out of luck um, unless you have a spare fuse, which is a 300 amp fuse and I don't have a spare one of those. So I'm not trying to get stuck anywhere. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna replace this with a uh, inline circuit breaker. Is my zooming in? Zoom out. And uh, I'm gonna mount it back here on the box. Um, I ordered a power distribution block. 
So I can run the zero gauge wire into here, and then I can run the things that need power into the rest of them. I'm gonna mount that somewhere down in there, try to hide it a little bit uh, so it's a, a clean install. Uh, today is Monday the 5th. On Saturday, I gotta take the car up to my buddy's shop, my welder. He's gonna weld me up a new intercooler, uh, cold side pipe, and a seat bracket that put my saw belt GT3 in the Supra. So uh, right now, I'm gonna try to get this so I can at least get the car started, and I just dropped it on the ground, uh, so I can get the car over there on Friday. So that's the most important. Greater fans will be all right, as long as I keep moving, I don't uh, let the car sit and idle. So. We're gonna get to this. Okay, this video has sucked, I will admit. However, there's a lot of stuff coming into play here. Uh, the Supra will be taking over track duties from the ISF. I kind of fought with that decision for a long time. I didn't want to track the Supra because the value and the ISF is fast and it's reliable. Um, but a lot of things come into play. The Supra will not lose any value putting a roll bar in it. The Supra, or the ISF, will lose all its value if I put a roll bar in it. The Supra has a lot more tuning options, a lot more power upgrades, a lot more suspension options. Just a lot of options in general. Um, the ISF does not have the luxury of all those things because so few people track those cars. So, I'm going full steam ahead with making the Supra my time attack car. It will be in street class, so I have to keep all the interior. Um, it will be running stock size turbos, but I'm gonna do the AM Infinity 6, which is already in the trunk. I'm about to drop that car off here in a couple days, hopefully, to get that installed. Obviously, you see my big top secret wing. Um, it's not top secret as in shush shush, it's top secret as in the old school tuning service from Japan. Uh, I have a lot of little thing, odds and ends that I'm adding to the Supra to make it more reliable and ready for the track. However, these fans I cannot control with the stock ECU. So luckily I did order that AM Infinity 6. Uh, I'm taking this car over to my fabricator tomorrow. He had some issues come up last week and couldn't get my car in. Um, so I'm getting the intercooler and intake piping made tomorrow. I did have an additional person come over and get my saw belt GT3, saw belt, say belt, however you want to say it. Uh, seat in the car which is a huge step forward because i was a little concerned i wasn't going to fit in this car and he got me in there it looks awesome i'm super excited obviously um you guys if you saw my last video you saw that i have my re removable steering wheel in there so this is going to conclude part two of this build um i know it's not as exciting because i didn't get a lot done a lot of stuff i, I kept running into issue after issue Hopefully with the new intercooler piping and the AM Infinity 6, all those issues will be done and I can start the car up and drive it and move on from there. So that's gonna end this video. Appreciate you guys watching. I know this one wasn't as interesting as the other ones, but if you guys got any questions, let me know below. Um, if you wanna keep following the Super Build, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next video.